Retrospective determinism is the belief that just because something happened, that it was bound to happen. One place that this fallacy manifests itself a lot, it was whenever people are talking about historical events, like if they're talking about a war, they're saying, hey, this war was going to happen because look at all these things that happened that were leading up to it, when it's really just hindsight, because, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. That also happens whenever people talk about the economy, crime rates, a lot of statistical stuff. People will say, oh, well, we should have seen that happening because blah, 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 whenever there was really no way to predict it. So in the first example, Thrusimka says, I hadn't caught a fish all week, so I was bound to catch one today. And Mantis says, just because you caught one today doesn't mean it was bound to happen. Having not caught one all week, it would not surprise many people if you didn't catch one today either. In our second example, Thrusimika says, I had a bad crop this year, but I guess that was bound to happen. So in this one, Adamantus says, having a bad crop wasn't bound to happen. It could have been prevented if you watered your plants. So here Adamantus is actually going now that Thrusimika's actions made him have a bad crop. It wasn't just one of those things that was bound to happen because he kept having good crops in the previous years. In the final example, Thrusimika says, Tripped and fell today. It, it's been years that since that has happened, so I guess there is no avoiding that. And Adamantus points out, most people will trip sometime, but that doesn't mean it's unavoidable. You could have watched where you were walking instead of trying to catch rain in your mouth. So here, once again, Adamantus point out a time or er, an action that Thrasymachus could have taken to prevent what he did. So what he did wasn't really bound to happen. He caused it himself.